Hey guys, this is Gamer Crates, and I am Ursa Major 114, and you can see there is filming. Which is Daryl, and I'm Sam. And we thought we'd bring you a little video showing our amazing village that we think is good, but by other people's standards it's crap. But to us, we think it's really good because we're not really creative builders, we're more survival players. But it looks really nice. Oops. I didn't do that. Alright, this here is the watchtower. Um which Daryl built. This is one of his few builds on the server. And it's where the watchman would stand to look at over the village to make sure that nothing's going wrong. There's no robberies or anything. Or no no one's being attacked by zombies or anything like that. And here we've got a nice doorway. And down here, there's not really much in the tower, except Matthew was here, because he's a griefer. Just kidding, that was me. And then this is the watchman's room, where he, where he sleeps, and he can like use his craft to be able to play cards, because according to our wooden planks don't cut it. Then this is the bottom floor, which no one cares about, because it's pointless. Then got a nice little, little wooden path. It before it was just like a straight path, but it looked really boring and stuff. So I decided to take it down, fit it a little bit down one to give it a bit more depth. And here is the blacksmith. It is ye old blacksmith. I've used this design a couple other times because I just like it. It looks really nice. Set us back right here, I've never used that before. That was um it could come back to that later. It's not important right now. So in the blacksmith we got some furnaces and stuff for smelting. Got some got a lava pit here to heat up to heat up the ore hot enough so you could use this anvil to like smash them into shape. Got a crafting table so you can do stuff. Keep tools, I guess. We've got like frames here where he framed um, some of his best work. And this is a manly bed. A pink carpet. Which, it looks nice. In 1.5.3 when it comes out, yeah, you'll actually get like carpets. So we can replace it with that then, so it'll be better. So that should be slightly up, 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 up off the ground. And behind that door is not important yet. It's, I don't even show them, it's not even worth it, Daryl. Daryl, it's not even worth it. Come on. Then, continued on this path here, we'll come across Matt's bar. This is Matthew from No Clue Games, who we are good friends with. They got a lovely welcome mat, and these are just tables and chairs, which look quite nice. They remind me of um, the chairs from the Krusty Krab and Spongebob at the tables, except they're square, not circular. Very nice. Then here we got like potions and stuff. Potions of healing, stuff. this, this like beer, I guess, and stuff like that. Then down here is the storage place where they keep all of the stuff, I guess. A bunch of different kinds of potions. And this one chest here you got pub snacks or meals I guess. Really. They got potions of slowness and weakness. As if you were like very drunk. It was like the ones that would get you really really drunk. And make you act all drunk. So if you come up here, this is where the guy sleeps, or four people, because he's a family man. I made that up myself. And it's like his wife and two children, or something like that. Or his husband and two children. Maybe. I don't know. Then that's it for Matthew's bar. Yeah, you're in my head. Come on. Then we go along this path again. 
do 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 Then it's Ryan Sapel. Ryan Yeah, Corlax I don't know if he's been in any of our in any of our videos yet. But he will be in at some point. There's like the reception, there's like you can ring that bell if you want someone to be there to help you. Then once you've got that you go through here. In this room, 1001, 1002, 1003, and 1004. That's going to go in each room, going in front. Room with 1001 has a blue, like blue carpet with picture of Slenderman, and I think that's a beach, a lighthouse. I don't know, it's pixel. And every person gets a crafting table, a uh, chest, and a bed. Then room 1000, 1002 gets a red carpet with picture of Slenderman. And painting of fruit, I believe. Two pixels. Then in room 1003, get a yellow carpet with a guy riding a unicycle, I think. That's what it looks like to me. Then I think that's like another bowl of fruit. I think it could be. And then one, room 1004, this is my favorite room. You get a purple carpet. Guy red news cycle and the beach. I think it's a beach anyway. Oh, cact cactuses. No, I don't think it looks like a cactus there. It's a beach. I guess you're wondering why I'm talking to myself. It's not Daryl's here. He's the one doing it. He can talk, but he's not recording his own voice for, for some reason. Then so here's the employees only part. That's where they go to take reception, right, I guess. Alright, so that is it for round in. Now what's going on? I like it, that's one of my favourite buildings. Then over here was Daryl's second build. It is the bakery. I haven't put a sign up for that yet. I should probably do that now actually. Just tell it hang on a second. This shall be um This could be Scott's bakery. Scott won't appear on the channel, but he's our friend. And there I thought it would be a good idea to put a bunch of cakes in there. It looks nice. Um, there's cakes in the counter because Daryl really likes cakes. And here you got like we display things like, you know like street shops? You got like things just displayed just outside the window. And it looks really nice. Then if you go up the stairs, or up the ladder, I guess, there is the bakery room where they bake all of the stuff. Then up there is the chimney, but you don't want to go up there, it's, it's dirty. You might get stuck in there like Santa. There's also like here, there's like up here, there's like smoke coming out the chimney. So many people use it, it looks so nice far away. It's not close, it just looks like a bunch of cobwebs. Then next I'll show you this, the park. That's right. Yeah, like a nice lo a lovely fountain here made of quartz and stone bricks here and like a wee park bench so you can go sit down and have a chat with neighbours. Like a communal place where everyone likes to go. So, alright, next, here, if you follow the path, now this is, I built this, but it is Daryl's lumber yard, because Daryl's like obsessed with trees, I don't know why, so this is his bedroom, he doesn't get much, but, you know, nice, Wait, is that a trap chest, oops, I give you a trap chest by mistake. Yeah, they are trap chests. Alright, so. Out here is the lumber yard. There's lots of grass, trees, and stumps from where the trees have been cut down. It, look, it looks nice. I really like it. It's probably Daryl's favourite build. It's got a bunch of trees in it. Alright. No, he did, he did say yes in the background. 
Then here is the marketplace. There's like a fisherman guy and meat carvery chemic I guess and veggies and didn't there's like tools. And according to that rock life looks like bacon. I guess it does a little bit, but yeah, alright, um then over here is the I guess you could call it like a second park, it's like the pond. Like picnic area and a little another little picnic area here under the big under the shade of the tree. It looks so nice. This was Daryl's final build of the thing. I built the picnic benches, but apart from that, Daryl built the rest of it. it looks nice. Then last but not least where are you? is Mayor Sam's quarry. Yeah, that's right, I'm the mayor that built most of this place. Yeah, I'm um, Ursa Major. Hey. So, alright, so first show the actual quarry. It's just, you know, it's just a quarry, just a big hole in the ground. There's a bunch of ores on the side that haven't been mined up, but they still have lots of ore. You know, it's just your average thing, I guess. Looks nice. Then back in here. Upstairs here is my bedroom. Oh my god, there's a guy following us. He's in my house. Ugh, he's ugly. He's old. He's so old. First of all, this is my bed and my chest. Get out of here, we're filming a video. Come on, Daryl. I don't even know where that is now. Alright, so in here is like where the area where the guy black where the guy like smelts all the stuff and makes it into ingots. And down here is a rail track that you can put like a minecart in a chest. Like a minecart in a chest. So Daryl wants to be an example, so there you go. Daryl, where are you going? There you go. Alright, so you can write this and it can transport all of the ores that the that I have melt smelted and my crew smelted and it sends it directly to the blacksmith. So then you can like push the button and get out. Yeah, push the button. So then this is like the blacksmith's secret place, it doesn't want anyone to get in there, that's where he'll like store all of the stuff. Alright, and then a secret, so he'll hide the he'll hide the button in this furnace. They can take the button out here and then place it on the wall. Then go in, take get the stuff, go back out, then delete the button and put it back in the furnace. Yeah, it looks nice. I guess it's a good I like the idea of that. Like an easy way for the to for the blacksmith to actually get its materials. So yeah. So this is basically our village. It in my opinion, I think it looks really good for like a first attempt kind of thing. We may do videos like this in the future if we build something on a larger scale. And if we think it's good enough, we may do a video on it. Just to show you that kind of thing. But if you have enjoyed the video, please uh Hit the like button and subscribe if you already have if you haven't already. And other than that, we'll see you later, guys. Bye bye.